They're trying to get the popos on us. They're trying to get the popos on us. They're trying to get the police on the prophets. They was out here talking about the little bro. They was out here talking about all these people. Talking, telling people to stuff. Put the camera over real fast. Put the camera over real fast, right? Like this is crazy. They're here talking about oh, everybody got to repent from sins. We got to contend for the faith. We got to do all this. But when brothers come over here, who you name dropped? Who you name dropped? You got to try to call the police. Where's that in the Bible? Who you call them friend, gotta prove them first Cause they're really loyalty when you're at your worst We need to hit her all like the wine You looking for some truth, I'll supply If you want it too soft, this ain't thin You gon' choose a law of a sin It's just some uncut gems It's just some uncut gems We was diamonds in the dirt just grinding in the turf, our mind was over berserk, trying to keep from riding in the hearse. Now we lines in the work, sons of Zion, we the church. Different color fringes is looking vibrant on my shirt, and time lying in the dirt. I pray to be a fire hydrant with this word, like a geyser. Sisters, y'all believe in God? Do you believe in God? That's an easy question. You either do or you don't. We can't answer that question, bro. Brother, sisters, y'all believe in God, man. Brother with the twist, do you believe in God? Why not? Wow, bro. Wow. Like this, the, like this is the people we sent. To. Matter of fact, give me, drop all that. Give me the MI9, this is 26. This is all I see. Let me see what I see, bro. I went in this in my lesson today that I recorded. Give me the MI9 and 26. This is the book of Nehemiah 9 and verse 26. Nevertheless, they they were disobedient yeah. and rebelled against thee. And that's what they that's what our people do. They're disobedient and they rebel against God. Go ahead. It says, and cast thy law behind their back. Do what? And cast their law behind their back. They cast the law of God. They're sinners. Our people cast the law of God behind their back. Why? Because it's uncomfortable. It, it bumps and grinds up against the way society is built now. You have to change. Our people don't like, that's one thing black Spanish and Americans don't like, especially our women. Change, accountability, rules, and structure. That's things our people hate, especially our women. Especially. That's why they love the church so much. Go ahead. It says, and slew thy prophets which testified against them to turn them to thee. And they were wrought great Provocation. provocations. It says, therefore thou deliverest them in, into the hands of thy enemies. And that's why y'all are in trans, that's why y'all are in the hands of your oppressor now. You want great provocations by casting the law behind your back. No bubble out Joe and Red Dead Redemption over here. Get to go around and pass cards and flyers out about your scriptures. To take hold of your scriptures. That's what happens when y'all do this. Go ahead. It says. Start from top. Therefore thou deliverest them into the hand of their enemies who vexed them in the, in the time of their trouble when they cried unto thee, thou hearest them from heaven, and according to thy man, manifold mercies thou givest them s s saviors who save them out of the hands of their enemy. That save them out of the hand of their enemy. The Lord is trying to give y'all, the Lord is giving y'all saviors right now to save you out of the hand of your enemies. Hey, bro, come here real fast, man. Let me have a conversation with you. I have a conversation, man. I'm just looking at y'all signs. Let's have a conversation about the sign. I want to have a conversation about your shirt, actually. I got to be handing out some tracks. Uh, maybe, later. maybe later. Maybe later. I appreciate it, though. It's real quick, real quick. It's real, it's, it's real fast, though. You can, have, you can answer from over there, right? What is sin? Wages of sin is death. No, I'm saying, what is sin? It's the transgression of the law. You got to get right with you. Do you keep the law? It's time to get right with God. I mean, do you, <laughs> do you keep the law? Sin? Jesus said, go and sin no more. Bro, I, I, I asked you a question, man. I'm asking you one back. I mean, I can answer your question if you answer mine. What is sin? You said sin is transgression of the law. Do you keep the law? Do you keep the law? Are you talking about all 613 commands? Yes. No, sir. That's not a give out with Jesus Christ. So, so how are you going around telling people to, 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 to keep the law, but you're not keeping the law? I'm telling people to repent of their sin and believe the gospel. Amen. Are y'all... What's up, bro? Y'all on the law? Come here, man. Come here. Let's have a conversation. Come here, man. Come here. 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 Come here.
quick, real quick, man. Here, here, look. Here, just on my side. I'm playing, bro. I'm playing. I mean, don't, 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 yeah, I, I wouldn't answer that question either. I wouldn't answer that question either. I'll come back. I'll come back. Come back. Come back. We're going to be here. Okay. Are you a Hebrew Israelite? I'm a chosen son of God, yes. I got you. Yeah, man, do that, bro. Sick. Smoke. Yeah, I'm going to get you. 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 i am going to get you 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 i I wanted to get a lot of scripture. Go ahead and get that anyway. This is First Peter chapter three and verse fifteen. Be sanctified, but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. And that's one thing these Christians don't do. They're not prepared to give an answer for what they believe in. I can, any any question about this Bible, I'm prepared to answer because I come out and stand for it. I, I get I go to the source. I don't have to hand nobody a flyer. I give people the source material, right? We say we believe in Christ, but to get Reverend Christ, I'm gonna read you what Christ said. Give me Matthew chapter 19 verse 17. Let's read what Christ said. Some people ain't trying to hear that, man. Hey, how do y'all get eternal life? Man above. I mean, but how do you access the man above? How you get the Holy Spirit? It's just vague. It just we just we just it's just like you got like you go to church. You remember when you was in school and you had the vocabulary list? Christians just have this vocabulary list of holy words like Holy Spirit, Christ, Trinity, sometimes the law, grace, grace. and grace. There you go. There you go. That's it. That's all you need. That's all you need. The Bible be damned, bro. That's how Christians do. <laughs> It's got the law at the bottom with a big X on with it. With a big X on it. Because don't, don't read what Christ says. <laughs> Just the book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 17. And he said unto him, Why callest call thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. Yeah. But if thou wilt enter into life, yeah. keep the commandments. If you want to enter into life, that eternal life, you have to do what? Keep the commandments. Go ahead. And he said unto him, Which? Yahweh shall say, Thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt, thou, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. Honor thy father, thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Now here's the thing. What is he quoting? That's the Mosaic law. That's the laws and commandments of God. Christ said if you want to enter into eternal life, you must keep the commandments. That's what it boils down to. Not this, oh, we got grace, uh, grace, grace, grace. Bro, come on. We can't use, we, matter of fact, give me Romans chapter 6, verse 1. We can't abuse grace. Hey, man, come over and answer some questions, man. Ain't nobody over here. He said he's waiting for his main people. Where's his main people? I'm going to talk to him. He said we got to keep the law, though. He said, he gotta, he said we got to keep the law? He just said go and say no more. Oh, are you living in sin? Are you living in sin? Nope. nope. You live in sin? Not a local sin, I'm sorry. Not a local sin? Oh, I said, after we sin, after we see the knowledge of the truth, no longer remains a sacrifice for sin. You cut your beard? You're telling me if I cut my beard, that's a sin. I'm telling you that's a commandment. I'm telling you, don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. That's so, that's not, I can't, I can't go to a scripture. God came. Man, come on, man. It's either going to keep the law or we're not going to keep the law. You're not going to keep the law. You take some of the 13 commandments. Why not? Why not? Because we got the Ten Commandments, we're saved by, we're saved no, by give, grace. Give me, give me, give me, let me look one to five. Give me look one to five. Let me show you something, let me show you we're something. Saved, we're saved by grace. I got grace you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. He died for the whole world. Wait, 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 we ain't there yet, we ain't there yet. 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 Hold up, hold up. Hold up. You said we can't, hold up, watch this. You said we can't keep the commandments, watch this. This is the book of Luke, chapter one and verse five. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Abba, Abiah, and his wife was the daughter of Aaron, yeah. and her name was Elizabeth, yeah. and they were both righteous before God. Doing what? 
walking in all the commandments. Oh, walking in what? Walking in all, all the, the commandments. commandments. So this is two people before Christ died walking in all the commandments of God. In ordinances of the Lord blameless. And what? In ordinances of the Lord blameless. Hey, so, hey man, what's your name? What's your name with the cowboy hat, bro? What's your name? Uh, Matthew. Matthew, man. I'm telling you, it's saved by grace and faith. But what did that verse just say? It's again, the whole whole world is able to see it. Come on, man. What, what, did, what did that verse just say? Talking about Jesus Christ. Don't talk about that verse we just read. I got all these verses trying to set me up in a trap. Just wait, just wait. I gotta find it. How is that a trap? No, I, was, I, I know y'all's game. I know y'all's game. I know y'all's game. What about, how did I say? You said, you nobody, said we can't keep the commandments. Can be, nobody can okay, keep the commandments. Okay, read, read six, six again. Read six again. Okay, yes, they, before, before, the, before Jesus Christ. So before before Christ, you, that's the main mission. So before Christ, so before Christ, you keep all the law, but now Christ, you can't keep all the law. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's you gotta, Jesus said, "Go and sin no more." That's what we're focused on. I focus on. But you, but sin is, but sin is breaking the commandments. How you gonna tell people? How you gonna tell people you can't keep all the commandments? And then on, on the other hand, say, "Oh, uh, you can't keep all of them." You can't be saved by keeping all the commandments. I didn't say that. I never said that. You were not ready for that. <laughs> what did Christ? What did Christ say, dude? Gotta love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor How you do that? You gotta live holy, live righteously, deny yourself. How you do that? You gotta deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow Him. You gotta go and sin no more, pray, read the Bible you, fast. Yeah, yeah. Check this out, right? You said follow Him, right? Did Christ say? No, He was perfect. Perfect in every way. So if He didn't sin, you said you gotta follow Him. That means you can't sin. What? So that means you keep all law, right? I don't know. If, if I don't have a... <laughs> hey, come on, man. The main message is, is saying go and sin no more. It's not, you're not going to be saved by keeping the law. If I can't eat, you're telling me I'm going to go to hell if I don't eat shrimp. Nope. All right, so what is y'all's message? What is y'all's message? We're here to tell the, we're the, oh, we're here to tell the black, Spanish, and Native Americans if they don't repent from their sins, they're going to get put to death. So what happens to yeah. the uh, federal God doesn't care about it. So I'm going to go to hell no matter, no matter what I do. What is hell? Eternal oh, fire. Place of weeping and asking. Do you see that in the Bible anywhere? Yes, sir. Where? You got your sword? Give me Jonah 2. I need Jonah 2. Which one? Hey, get Jonah too. Did Jonah go to hell? God so loved the world, he gave us the, the world, not just, I don't know. No, we're, not talking, we're talking about hell. Did Jonah go to hell? He gave the salvation, give it to all. Give it to all. Oh, look up, but did, did Jonah go to hell? Why are you asking me if Jonah went to hell? Because you said hell is underneath the earth. I'm asking you, did Jonah go to hell? I didn't say it's underneath the earth. Is it eternal fire? It's eternal fire place that we can imagine. Okay, did, did Jonah go there? Watch this. Jonah 2 and 2. Then Jonah prayed oh, and said, I cried. Hey man, how can we turn around every said, time the Bible said, come out? He said, he's talking about when he was inside the belly of the whale and felt like hell. <laughs> That's not what he And wow. said, I cried by reason of mine affliction yeah. unto the Lord. Yeah. And he heard me. Yeah. Out of the belly of hell out cried. Out of the belly of where? Out of the belly of hell. Was he on fire? Read before that. Read before that. Okay, verse 1. That's then, then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God. Out of the fish's belly, yeah. out of fish's belly. and on, said, I cried by the reason belly. of mine affliction unto yeah. the Lord, yeah. and he heard me. Out of the belly of hell cried I. So was he in eternal fire? No, he wasn't. He was in the fish's belly, just like it was saying. But you said hell is fire, and he wasn't in fire, though. No. Which what is it, man? Was he in hell? Was he not in hell? He was inside the fish's belly, he was describing that it felt like hell. That's not what he said. He said, I have to cry in hell, man. So is that, is that, is, was he on fire? Read it, read it from verse 1 again. I just tell did. Read it from verse 1 again. That's how many people are on fire. I mean, I know he wasn't because he didn't say he was. But you said hell is fire, and Jonah is telling opposite of hell. Which one is it? He wasn't in hell. He was in a fish's belly. He was in the fish's belly. Bro, that's the point. To let you know hell ain't fire. How is your soul going to burn if your soul can't feel anything, man? What's going on, like what? I, don't, I don't know why you're using that verse that's completely out of context. Bro, I started in verse 1. I'm not I could never get it. I couldn't get far out of context. Y'all don't believe in God, man. That's what I that's what I hold on sister believe in God. God is God is no God is no respecter of person. He's no respecter of person. And you're telling me Exodus Exodus 2 at the last verse. You're telling me that a God is no respecter of person is gonna cast out 
Yeah, what should y'all say? This is the book of Exodus, chapter 2, in verse. It's not the last verse. It's the last no. verse. It's the very last verse. Two in the I'm last sorry. verse. This is the book, the book of Exodus, chapter 2, and verse 25. And God looked upon the children of Israel, yeah. and God had respect unto them. He did what? God had respect unto them. Wait, he, he did what to the children of Israel? God had respect unto them. So I thought you said God didn't respect the person, but here he is respect to Israel. Y'all using that way out of context. That's Israel. the last verse. We're talking about the New Testament. God's no respect to a person. So does God change? Y'all use everything out of context. Wait, does God does God change though? Are you living in Are you living in sin? Now hold on, no, you said no, we're taking that out of context. Out of context. Yeah, you said we're taking that out of context. You, brother. Brother. Listen, does God change? Why are you can't answer the question, bro? It's a yes or no question. Does God change? I'm telling you, are you living in sin? No, I'm not living, living in sin. sin. No, I'm not. Because I'm a Christian. No, I, I'm not living. I'm not living in sin because I'm an actual Christian. A Christian is a Torah keeper. That's what you're going to see. Is that okay? First Peter two and twenty one. Let's see. Let's see. How come every time the Bible come out, you run, you run away? This is the book of First Peter chapter two and verse twenty one. Yeah. For even here, here on to. Here unto we we are for even here unto we we are ye called yeah. because Christ also suffered for us, yeah. leaving us an example. Christ suffered for us and left us an example how to be a Christian. That ye should follow his steps. That you should follow his steps. Who did what? Who did no sin. Who did what? Who did no sin. So Christ didn't do no sin. We're supposed to follow after his footsteps, so we don't sin. So when you ask us, do we live in sin? No, we don't, because we're Christians. <laughs> Let's talk about that, bro. We the real Christians. Like, and, and here's the thing. How come y'all can't ever supply a Bible verse outside of John 3, 16? Why? Let's talk about that, man. Let's talk about how, like, there's this, all these scriptures, man. Future said you got all these guns, but you ain't shooting nothing. <laughs> you got all these guns, but you're not shooting nothing. I can go from Old Testament to Apocrypha to a New Testament. And we have an answer for everything. But y'all don't. And it's sad that I have to sit here and talk to a goddamn heathen because our people can't stop and hear the word of God, bro. Kevin, Kevin Hart is so, is so important that you can't hear the word of God? That's crazy, man. And sister, you believe in God? You believe in God? I guess not, man. I guess not, man. Any of y'all believe in God? <laughs> it's mad. It's madness, bro. It's madness. What you got? Give me Matthew 3, 6. It's book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6. Yeah. For I am the Lord, I change not. Give me give me uh, James, chapter 1. We're talking about, I think it's 21. We're talking about the bird. This is the kingdom of the God of life. For I am the Lord, I change not. It's the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6. Yeah. For I am the Lord, I change not. The what? I am the Lord, I change not. The Lord, God, Yahweh in the Hebrew, who y'all call Yahweh, does not change. If he feels a certain type of way in the Old Testament, he feels the same way in the New Testament. That's right. Give me Hebrews 13, verse 5. You got this? You got this one where it's a where there is no, no verb. Yeah. Verse 17. This is the book of James, chapter 1 and verse 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and coming down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. And hey, sister, you believe in God? How you show you love him? Why is that a hard question to ask? Do you believe in God? You can't, so you, you can't look into your own self, brother. Hey, how many flyers you got? A four nine. Alright, I'm ready to spaz. I got this. I got a whole other packet over there. Oh yeah, man, get them, I get them in hands. Because like this, we're gonna do this. We're gonna start teaching. Because look, man, I'm already ready to spaz. I'm ready to spaz it, bro. What are you trying to hear? Powerful, brother. We get flyers, we get flyers in hands. We teaching the word of God. Get this. Look at that, man. This is the book of First James, chapter chapter one and verse seventeen. Every good gift. And every perfect gift is from above yeah. and cometh down from the Father of lights, yeah. with whom is no variableness. And the what? No, no variableness. Variable. Whom is no variableness. Variableness means a changing aspect. Just like how you have like the X variable. The X variable could be one to infinity or negative to infinity. 
It's, it's always going to change. So the Lord, there's no variableness in him. He is a finite value. So God does not change. He doesn't change in the New Testament, and he doesn't change in the Old Testament. Hey, sister, can I give y'all a blessing right quick? Can I give y'all a quick? Can you, can you stop? Let me get you a blessing right fast, man. I can't give y'all no blessing. I can't give nobody over here no blessing, man. Bless, bless, bless. What's your nationality? What's your nationality? Stars. Stars. I mean, what, what people do you just say? Hispanic and Mexican. Have you heard about the Israelites in the Bible? The Israelites. God shows the people. Let me show you something. You see this right here? All the way at the bottom right there? It's the tribe of Issachar. That's who the Mexicans are. The, the Hispanics, y'all are God's chosen people. That's right. You are an Israelite, man. Yeah, you God's chosen people. Look at this, man. Cause look, look. I'm gonna show you something, right? Don't y'all people go through the same thing we do? Ain't y'all in the same hoods as us? Ain't y'all still getting murdered just like us by the police? Ain't y'all? Then y'all go in slavery just like how we out back before we did? Y'all went into slavery before we did. Why, why do y'all think y'all got this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you think you got this for, man? Christ was a black man according to the Bible. But they came and gave y'all this in slavery. Come on, When the Spaniards came in 1492, black came over and enslaved no y'all. And, and that's, black matter of fact, why you think, why you think there's a Catholic church and damn near every single Hispanic neighborhood? We the Israelites, bro. We don't, we don't represent no religion. We represent God's chosen people. We out here trying to tell God's chosen people that y'all are God's chosen people, bro. Yes, the 12 tribes. You got a flyer? Give this man a flyer. Give this man. Give this man a flyer, bro. Give me, give me First John five verse three. Okay. Do you want to, you want to know how to love God? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Can you follow His commandments? All right, let me tell you what you gotta do. You see these right here? These is fringes. This is a commandment you can keep. Right? You see this? Give me, give Matthew. Drop that. Give Matthew. Uh, not Matthew. Give me uh, Numbers 15, verse 38. There you go. Let me show you something. Cause you got a beard on your face. That's a commandment. Do you, you, you know about the Sabbath day? Can you keep the Sabbath day? Yeah, if you really, really try, watch this. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, and verse 35. And the Lord said unto Moses, the man, no, no, that's not. the 38, my fault, speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders of a, a ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. You can either wear these or you can get those, those four on him right there right behind you. You see those little, those little ones you can just clip on your pants? That's an easy commandment you can do. If you love God like you say you do, that's something you can do. We believe in the whole Bible. Because the Bible, the, the scriptures say you gotta live by every word that come out of it. That's, that's part of the Old Testament too, bro. So watch this. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, I wish I could to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. So that's what the Lord requires of you, bro, to keep the commandments. <laughs> Just do the one thing he asked you to do. The Lord, Lord only asked you to do one thing. This is Luke 11 and 28. This is red letter. But he said, yeah, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God yeah. and keep it. You do what? That hear the word of God and keep it. I think that's Christ. So you heard the word of God and you got to keep it. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 20, 22, verse 14. Yeah. Blessed are they that do his commandments, yeah. that they may have right to the tree of life yeah. and may enter in through the gates into the city. Don't you want to enter into the gates of the city, bro? Don't you want that? You don't want to live your life go what, uh, 70, 80 years, mess around and die and, and have the freaking taste of the second death. That's a waste of time. You done wasted all the years when you could just enter into the kingdom of God. All you gotta do is keep this commandments, bro. This ain't hard. This ain't hard, bro. 
that's the commandments. The commandments are the commandments, bro. No, I don't know who told you that. This is Matthew 5 and 18. For verily I say unto you, red letter, to heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. That's right, that's red letter. Till all be fulfilled. Is heaven, is, is heaven above us? Is earth below us? So the law is still in place. Bro. That's what Christ said. Man. Keep them commandments. Keep them commandments, bro. Check that flyer out. Please check that flyer out, bro. We on YouTube. We got everything. I mean, it's really Yahweh. Yeah, Yahweh. Oh, you got the tetragrammaton? That's Yahweh. Te Tetragrammaton. But it's Yahweh in Hebrew. Yahweh. It's on that flyer I gave you. I'm gonna look into it, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Check it out, man. Check it out. At least we got one. Hey, look, he wanted to stay. Hey, you know he wanted to stay. I know he wanted to stay. He wanted to stay. See, man, because he, he got a tetragrammaton on his on his neck. God. See, man, like I, we ain't supposed to get tattoos, but like you know where that's coming from when you do that. Okay, give me Hebrews. Go ahead. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter seven and verse fourteen. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. What's, what's Christ's lineage? For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So Christ has a lineage. He is a Jew. Skin color, it doesn't. It doesn't. You're right. It doesn't. It doesn't. We didn't, we didn't say this. We said nationality. Because your nation. God is a respecter of persons. <laughs> he respect, He respected it. Did, did God respect Israel? Did, did God respect Israel? God didn't die for anybody. Oh, this is the thing. How is God, the infinite, the infinite source of everything in existence, going to die? Oh, now he's talking smack. Now he's talking hey, smack. Hey, hey, man. If you're gonna put our names in your mouth, you better be able to defend that sword. Hold on. You man. better be able to defend that Bible. I'm ready to walk up on. Hey. Not everyone. His sin warring in your body. We was over there. Do you belong about the to Jesus Christ? When we roll up on you. You ain't got nothing. Do you to say. belong to Jesus Christ? Look at this. Give me, give me Jew. Only give message you. to you give me Jew. is that you One would repent. Give me Jew. Of your sin. One verse three. The sin will kill you. Hey, what sin? Your sin. What is Will sin? kill you. What is that? And Jesus Christ came what to is that? destroy. The works of the devil. What is that? The works of the devil. What is that though? Jesus Christ came to this book of Jude, the verse works three. Of the Beloved, devil. when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith. You should do what? Should earnestly contend for the faith. I mean, fight for the faith. Y'all was over there saying all oh, the Hebrew Israelites, the fake Hebrew Israelites, but we pull up on you. Now you gotta pack up. What happened to contending for the faith? What happened to general sin? And liars and murderers, it sexual immoral, drunkards, Jesus haters. What happened to all that? We're gonna close up shop now? We're gonna go full coward mode. Huh? He, he, he might be changing a battery. He he might have he might have some testicular fortitude. I just wanna I just wanna see, man, because you 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 said something about us. You said so. You, you you start talking about the set, and when the set roll up on you, now we got to flee. Is that what we doing? That's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna contend for the faith like the scripture says. I asked you a biblical question. You, you're telling people to repent for their sins, but what is sin? Y'all can't answer that question. Y'all can't answer that. We can't. Answer. Matter of oh, fact, give, oh, me, give me give me Peter's. Come on, right here. There we go. It's the book of First Peter, chapter three. And verse 15. Let's see who actually believes in the Bible. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts. Yeah. And be ready always to give an answer. Yeah. To every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you, in you with meekness and fear. And that's not what these Christians are going to do. 
they're gonna they're gonna throw the Bible at people. It, like they're all really the Pharisees. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna turn on we're gonna turn on Christmas music. That's <laughs> that's sad, bro. That's sad. Y'all are in a sad state, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. We we we're evil and wicked, but we want to have a discussion about the Bible, and we gotta we gotta turn the mic off and then and then play Christmas music. That's the weakest. Thing. Read this again. This is the Book of First Peter chapter three verse fifteen. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer yep. to every man that asks you a reason of the hope. That is in you with meekness and fear. So you gotta be ready to give an answer. Y'all not ready to give no answer. The Christian church is coward. How you gonna how you gonna be banging on everybody that's walking inside of the American Airlines Center? But when somebody asks you about the Bible, it's now a problem, Ot. It's a problem. We gotta put the Christmas music on. We gotta freaking not we gotta we gotta be able to not even <laughs> like laughing. Bro, you see that? You see? <laughs> that's crazy. Even the police officer laughing at how silly that is. Oh, look, look, he's trying to get the popos on us. They try to get the popos on us. The police on they try to call the police on the prophets. They was out here talking about the little, little, little bro. They was out here talking about all these people. Talking, telling people to stuff. Put the camera over real fast. Put the camera over real fast, right? Like, this is crazy. They're here talking about, oh, everybody got to repent from sins. We got to contend for the faith. We got to do all this. But when brothers come over here, who you name dropped? Who you name dropped? You gotta try to call the police. Where's that in the Bible? Where's that in the Bible, bro? Where's that in the Bible? Oh, Revelation. Where's that in the Bible? Revelation two and ten. What? Revelation two and ten. What do you mean Revelation two? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's in the Bible. Two and 10. Yeah, right, that is in the Bible. Let's read that, right? Because they they want us they want us right to move up off the block, but they, the way they want to do it is they want to call the police on us because they see black men. Black men to go to jail. I know. Let's get the police on the black man so they can either get shot or thrown in jail or get their ass beat. That's what they want to do. That's right. And you know why? It's because they don't love us. They don't love us. They sit there and talk about love, love, love. They don't love the black man. They don't. At all. Nah. You come over here and ask a question about the Bible, they're supposed to rebuke us, right? Read, matter of fact, yeah, you get this. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 10. Fear not of those things. Fear not of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold! Oh wait, no, 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 before you do that, before you do that. Our speaker is louder than yours. <laughs> our, our speaker is louder than yours. Let's do this. Verse 10. Fear not of those things which thou shalt suffer. Yeah. Behold, the yeah. devil shall cast some of you into prison. The what? The devil shall cast some of you into prison. So what are these Christians? They're the devil. They're trying to get us cast into prison. You'll call the police over, over here because we want to ask you a Bible question. That's a shame. That's a shame, bro. And what if, give me, give me Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. What it all boils down to, they don't love nobody. They don't truly love, they don't truly love us. If y'all truly loved us, y'all rebuke us. Tell us how we wrong, man. Try to save our souls. How much y'all try to do that? They ain't gonna try to save our souls. They try to save everybody else's souls out here. Supposedly. This is giving pedophiles. Supposedly, but... right? They're trying to save everybody's souls. But why y'all try to save our souls? You know why? Because they don't love us. Read this. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Yeah. Thou shalt not hate thy neighbor, thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Yeah. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Oh, see, so if y'all love us, y'all will try to rebuke y'all's neighbor. That's why nobody's trying to hear y'all's message, bro. If y'all actually truly love us, y'all will try to rebuke us. Read that again. It says, that. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor yeah. and not suffer sin upon him. So if you see us in sin, right, why don't y'all, why are y'all suffering sin upon us? Y'all don't love us, bro. Y'all don't love nobody out here. Because when y'all get challenged according to the Bible, it's a problem. That shit is ridiculous, bro. That's ridiculous. It's outright ridiculous. Read that again. It says, verse 17, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart, Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Yeah, and that's what y'all are doing. Y'all suffer sin upon us. And, and the question is, right? Why y'all playing that soft ass music? Pedophile. Like you don't feel like a you don't feel like a pedophile by playing some soft music on the corner of the street. Is that what Jesus did? Did Jesus do that? Did Jesus have some have, have a, a, a army a army of people playing playing the lute and the harp, playing some soft music, try to get people? No, bro. And that's why people is taking our literature though. <laughs> that's crazy, you see that? 
You see how the Lord actually works? Hey, Instead of somebody out here lying out of their old tongue? Give me that of Peter's again. Give me Peter's, uh, Peter's 4 and 11. That's crazy. That's the most cowardice thing I've ever seen. You're going to try to name drop us, say we cowards, and say we're evil, but we pull up on you. You got to put the Christmas, the Christmas hey, look, music. They throw a stone at a glass window and hide their hands. And hide their hands, bro. Y'all are definitely the white man. The Bible talks about This is the book of First Peter, chapter 4, verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. Let him do what? Let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. Not up here talking about the days are getting dark. All this stuff, you're not doing that. <laughs> and then watch this, look at 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 the camera. But I but I get on camera, look at this. Look, they're packing up shop. They're packing up shop, man. I can't, I can't. I can't, I can't use the arm of the white man, the police, to get him off the block. So I gotta just flee, right? Watch this, watch this. No, no, I'm gonna save, I'm gonna save when they start moving. I'm gonna save when they start moving. Go ahead, get this. this is verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. Yeah. And if any man minister, let him do it as, as it, uh, let him do it as of the ability which God give him. Yeah, to interpret the scriptures. But these dudes can't interpret scriptures at all, right? Hey, brother and sister. Hey, yo, yo, you in the blue shirt. Hey, bro. Do you think they sincere about what they're doing? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Because when someone, they, they name, hey, bro, take this out, bro. They name dropped us while we was over there, and we pull up, and now it's a problem. You see, they got to pack it up. They don't love, they don't love black people. And why, this is why Christianity is a guise for white supremacy. That's all it boils down to. We have to love the same people who kill us, who try to call the police on us when we try to ask them about the Bible, the thing they come out here to talk about, and they want to cast us in a prison. That's why it says the devil, what's the devil, the Diablos in the Greek, <laughs> that will throw you into prison. That's what they want to do. But now they want to pack up. <laughs> and you know what, you know what's funny? You know what I personally believe? They get ruled over by their women. I believe that, I believe They get ruled over by their women. No, no man is, is going to get challenged about something they say they will die for. These people say they'll die for Christ, but you're going to run away from a, a debate from somebody from somebody who disagrees with you. You can't really you can't really be standing for what you stand for, bro. You're not about to die for this. Wait, I got it. What's up? What you got? See, see, see. What it is that we came up with just a few precepts. Yeah. What you listening to is the sound that they hear from a spiritual knockout. That, that's this what it is. Good cut. <laughs> They're trying to get up off that 10 count, but like it's already 100 by now, bro. They're asleep. And they're always going to be asleep. No, give me, give me that, uh, give me that, dip. what you got? Yeah, go, go, go ahead. While, while they're fleeing, right? Go ahead. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 28. Hey, get this on camera while they're doing it. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 28, verse 1. Yeah. The wicked flee, yeah. but no man pursue it. They what? The wicked, wicked flee, flee when no man pursue it. And they, and they, and they wear their hair and have to flee. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. That's why nobody wants to take their literature, bro. We done got, we done got rid of a whole, whole damn flyer. Like a whole damn, a whole damn flyer packet. Ain't nobody trying to take that. Don't nobody believe in that. I'll read this again. What a read this again. It said, the wicked flee when no man pursue it. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. Nobody chased these guys. Ain't nobody doing that. They name dropped the set, came up, got found out to have no balls whatsoever, packed up like the wicked heathen that they are, and now they gotta run away. But so now what we're gonna do is give me uh, uh, Malachi chapter one, verse three. Hey, try, try Corinthians three. Corinthians three, what about Corinthians three? What do you mean I'm gonna learn from it? What does it say? <laughs> are you fleeing? Yeah, he's <laughs> fleeing when nobody pursue him. He sat up there, it was like Google, he just Googled uh, love scripture. Cut he his last, got him, got him. That's what it is, man. <laughs> this is crazy. Now give me, give me uh, Malachi, for, I, need, I want them to hear this before they leave. I want them to know how God feels about him. I want them to know oh, no, how no, no. Jesus feels about him. Oh, you getting Malachi 1? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. What you got? Malachi 1 in the GNT. It oh, hits it. so much get harder. It, get it. No, I, I, want, I, want it, I want it to be heard. Oh my God, please blow it up. I got it, I got it, I got it. This is the book of Malachi chapter one and verse two. Yeah. The Lord said to his people, I've always loved you, but they replied, have you shown what? How have you shown us our love, shown us love? Yeah. The Lord answers, Esau and Jacob were brothers, 
but I love Jacob and his descendants yeah. and have hated Esau and his descendants. So the Lord hates y'all, man. With your hat, man. Go up the block. That's what the Bible says. They're the Edomites according to the Bible. And if anybody has a problem with that, we can have a good dialogue about it. We're perfectly aware and perfectly sane enough and Bible literal enough to actually, uh, uh, yeah, what's well, literal enough, right? Yeah. To have a have a literal breakdown about it, man. That's right. Hey, man, you got a question? I see him over there looking. What's going on, brother? Hey, what's going on, man? You all right? You got a got a you question? Got a question? Or... You sure? Okay, he over there, good. He good. Right. Let, him, let him have it, man. Let him have it, bro. Well, I might give him a fly. What's your ethnicity, brother? That nigga's a human. But like I'm saying, man, Christians, Christians are cowards. They don't they don't truly love people like how they say. If they love this, they should have tried to save our soul. Because if we if we're evil, we're in a cult, we're sinners, we we hate God. You should try to they save us, man. Rid of all, man. Of course. They, they, they can't stand. They don't bro, like. They hate like you. Go bro, ahead, come here, come here real fast. Bro, come here. I, I, I'm with you though, bro. I heard way over there. You gonna call the police, man? Why are you gonna call the police out, man? Stand up and fight with them, man. Yeah. Like, cause like, get the get this, man. Okay. Look, man. Check this out. Check this out, right? Check this out, right? No, no, no. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Watch this, watch this, right, brother. He, they, they, they name dropped us over here. They called us out. We come over here and say, okay, what about? I asked them about what they were literally preaching. I didn't even introduce them. I said, what about what you're preaching? Right. They just turned Christmas music on and they packed up and left. Right, right. I heard no, them all over there, bro. Like, yeah, and and give, me, give me Leviticus 19 verse 17. Watch this, man. Move, man. Sit there, man. The Lord sent you there. Fight, man. Yeah, because we're, 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 we're coming to. Yeah, because watch this. Let me show you one Bible verse real fast. Right. I'm going to show you something about them. Leviticus 19 verse 17. This is the book of Leviticus chapter, uh, chapter 19 and verse 17. Yeah. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. So the Bible saying, don't hate your brother. Watch this. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So if you love your neighbor, you're going to rebuke him. Rebuke means correct. If, you, if they say we're in a cult, they say we're evil and sinners, why are you going to try to come save our soul? Exactly. You, you don't love us. Don't do, don't that, that, that's that's, that's I, not I, sincere, I, I, bro. I said, man, why are you leaving? Go over there, man. No, like go sit you in, hey. over there, man. Those are your brothers. You exactly, because we could look at Kachaka We was gonna let them make it. We was gonna let them make it, but then they start talking about us. Right. Then we come over here. Y'all not sincere, bro. Right. If y'all were sincere, y'all would sit there, y'all at least try to say something to us. That's what I told them. That's y'all not sincere. Right. Y'all y'all right. about lying, y'all about the, the, the uh freaking deceiving the people bro. that's all it boiled down so here's here's this car come to our church give us time money yeah that's how they want yeah because we, we don't want no like bro we don't want no money from nobody man we don't want no money from nobody we just want people to repent that's it right i'm with you bro that's it bro and, uh, it was just them man i said hey you know oh, yeah. you know i said man, why you i'm over there sitting down why you even need to have the idea it's the word it's the word, <laughs> it's the word. Cause give me, give me two. Give us some more fire. You give me fire. You give me fire back. <laughs> and I came on the lightest of bro, the lightest of smokes, bro. I appreciate the lightest you, of smokes. Watch this. I'll be right back. I got you. Show the signal. I got you. I got you, brother. Right. Quick with the sword. Watch this. Hey, bro. I got two, bro. Wait, hey, hey, bro. Check this out. This is the book of Jude, verse three. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation. It was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith. Do you know what contend means? Contend means like to fight or wrestle for. You gotta fight for the faith, man. If somebody asks you a question and disagree, you gotta contend to prove what you say. We like which one of us is coming out the word? They sat up there this whole time with a with a with a microphone. They'll come out scriptures one time. All we stand on is this, bro. Cause this is all we have as a people, as black, Spanish, and Native Americans, bro. We try to tell people to keep the commandments. The commandments say, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not commit adultery. Ain't that three major problems we have in the black community? If we just kept those, you know how much lives we can save? That's, a, that's what we trying to do. We trying to save lives, bro. Cause just, just doing that simple thing of thou shalt not kill. I'm not gonna murder you, bro. If, if you sit there, if, if we have beef, I'm gonna try to talk it out or I'm gonna go my separate way. I'm not about to go roll up on you and shoot you. I'm not about to take your girl. I'm not about to steal from you. I'm not doing any of that stuff. That's what we're trying to tell our people. They're telling people like, oh, it's repair for your sins. How do you do that? We just showed you how to do that. You see how easy that is? That's, that's like, well, if somebody somebody believes in God and somebody does it, and I'm pretty sure they're the ones that don't believe it. 
I don't wish you on there. That's what I was telling you. Like, hey, you shouldn't leave. Man. Let's leave, man. Let's man. Let's leave. Let's leave. Exactly, man. What, what's, your, what's your nationality? Huh? What's your, you just a regular black man? Yeah. You what? You American? Just a regular black man in America, right? Black man in America. Do you know the black the black people over here in America are Jews, man? We the we the real Jews, man. Cause watch this. Give me give me uh, Revelation two verse nine. I'm gonna show you something. Are the people over there in Israel are they are they rich? Are they in poverty? They're not in poverty, right? Watch this. This is the book of Re Revelation chapter two and verse nine. I know thy works in tribulation. So he's talking to the true Jews. I know your works in tribulation. Ain't black people going through tribulation? Watch this. And poverty. And what? And poverty. It says poverty. Are the Jews over there in poverty? No, they're not. We in poverty, go ahead. But thou art rich. Yeah. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. They say they, they call themselves Jews, but what? And are not, yeah. but are the synagogue of Satan. That's the synagogue of Satan, brother. The true Jews are going to be in poverty and going through tribulation. That sound like us. That don't sound like them. It sure don't. And he was saying that to the true Jews. Give me Isaiah 42. Let me show you something else. Before we wrap up. Very productive. Oh. 42, uh, 42, 22. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, and verse 22. This is something supposed to happen to the Jews. Go ahead. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Yeah. They are all of, of them snared in holes. Yeah. And they are hid in prison houses. Wait a second. It said the Jews are going to be hid in prison houses, brother. Yeah. Who, who hid in prison houses? Yeah. We are. The Bible's starting to sound like what we go through, man. That don't sound like what they go through with them yarmulkes on, giving oral circumcisions. That ain't even the book. Watch prayer. this. It says, they, they are for a prey and none delivereth. Don't people just take advantage of us and nobody helps us as a people? The Democrats have been saying they about to change our position for goddamn four presidents now. I, all, I see, all I see is us getting worse and worse and worse. Exactly. Go ahead. It says, for a spoil and none saith restore. And, and none saith restore. Does anybody try to restore us into what we used to be, man? Nobody. All that stuff is stuff that's supposed to happen to the Jews, man. You a Jew. You God chosen people. They calling it, they call you a nigga, they call you fucking Negro. Bro, you a Jew. You come from the same tribe Christ came from, man. So knowing that you gotta repent, you gotta keep these commandments, bro. Keep them. That's how we that's how we live. That's how we that's how we not die in America. That's how we get up out of America and get that crown put upon us. Not no, we die and we go to heaven. No, we get brought from America to the land of Israel. The Lord put a crown over us and we rule over the heathen. That's what we trying to give. The entire world, bro. We go you gonna have a you have a crown on your head ruling the planet. That's what the Bible teach, man. Give me give me uh, Revelation 2 and 26. That's what the Bible teaches. Here, tag out with me after this. I'm thirsty. Yeah. Uh, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 2, and verse 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end. If you if you repent from your sins and keep Christ's works until the end, what? To him will I give power over the nations. You got power over the races, bro. You're going to have power over everything. You want, don't you want power over this whole world? We're trying to give you that, man. Check that fire out. We got a number on there. We got a YouTube channel on there. We got all that, bro. You need to overcome, bro. Keep going. It says, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Yeah. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. So if you were if you keep the works up to the end and get saved and get that crown, you're gonna be able to rule over the heathen with a rod of iron. Don't you want that? You can walk around with a rod, a, a big long rod of iron, beat the heathen into shit to like a like a pot getting broken to shivers into pieces. That's how we're gonna beat the heathen. That's how they did us. That's it. That's how they did us. That's what's gonna happen, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. That info, bro. I appreciate that. All praise. Without your tag out with me.